let us uh, read this question and try to note down the information that is given in the question first and then we will start solving the question. 8 persons Q, R, P, L, Z, H, J and B are sitting in a row facing north. Each of the students study in different standards from 1 to 8. All the above information is not necessarily in the same order. Their ages are directly proportional to their standards. The one who is studying in 8th standard is the eldest and the one who studies in the 1st standard is the youngest. Now, what is given here? Q is elder than P and R. Q is elder than P and R. R is younger than P. So, Q is elder than P and P is elder than R. That is what is given. That is what is meant by these two statements. Three persons sit between Q and the one who studies in sixth standard. Okay. Then, uh, so this is one information that is given. Three persons sit between Q and the one who studies in sixth standard. Then one more line that is given here is Q sits on one of the extreme ends. So this is the starting point that I am going to try with. Okay. So there are one possibility is Q is in this end. Everybody is sitting uh, facing north. So Q is here. So remaining how many people will be there? Uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If Q is here, where is R? 3 persons sit between Q. Sorry, not about R. They are saying uh, 3 persons sit between Q and the one who studies in 6th standard. So 1, 2, 3. This can be 6th standard. This is one possibility. The other possibility is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is Q. So where will uh, 1, 2, 3? This is sixth standard. This is the second possibility. Next, what are they saying? Less than two persons sit between Q and R. Uh, less than two persons sit between Q and R. So, what does that mean? Between Q and R, there is either one person or no person at all. Correct? So, again, I get another two possibilities when I try to place R. So, either this is one case where R is here, right? Or R can be here. One, two. So, this case itself is now split into two cases, right? Q is in this corner, 6 is here. R can either be here. There will be one person between Q and R or no person between Q and R. So, similarly, this possibility also, you will have two cases, right? This is Q and this is R. Now, what is the uh, next statement say? Okay, let us uh, look at this one. Okay, the one who studies in second standard sits third to the right of R. So, if this is the case, third to the right of R is where? There is no such space here. So, this possibility has gone wrong when I try to fix this. Similarly, this possibility will also go wrong when I try to fix it. The one who studies in second standard sits third to the right of R. So, this possibility these two cases are gone. Similarly, if I try it here, okay, again, third to the right of R will be 1, 2, 3, but here already 6 standard is there. So, this possibility is also wrong. So, all these three cases have gone wrong and we are left with only one case, which has to be the correct case that we are looking for. This is the correct one. So, let us continue with that. See, this is a very important point. At this stage, you should be able to eliminate these three cases. Then it will be very easy to solve. But if you are stuck at this point, then proceeding further is going to be difficult. Like let's say you don't find this out, this information out and you continue solving, then you will have too many cases to work with and it will take more time. So here you have Q dash R dash 6, 6 standard is here. Now the one who studies in second standard sits third to the right of R. Since everybody is facing north, we know this is left and this is right. Third to the right of R means 1, 2, 3. So this is going to be the person who is studying in the second standard. That is also fixed. Next, what do we fix? P does not sit on any extreme ends. The number of people who sit to the left of P is same as the number of persons who sit to the right of the one who studies in 8th standard. So, where can I place 8th standard? See, 8th standard can either come here. So, if I put 8th standard here, the number of persons to the right of 8th standard should be equal to the number of persons to the left of the P. 
P. So P has to be here, right? Or the other possibility is I can put 8 standard here, but I know already P is not in a corner. So 8 cannot come here. So 8 standard can either be here or can I put 8 standard here? If I put the person who is studying in 8 standard here, what will happen? How many people are there to the right of 8? 1, 2, 3, 4. Same number of people should be there to the left of P. So uh, is that possible? Where can I place P? P can be... Uh, if I put 8 here, 1, 2, 3, 4. So where should P be? P has to be here, right? 1, 2, 3, 4. So P has to be here. Okay, at this point we get two possibilities. Anyway, let's try to note down the two possibilities and see. There are two places where I can keep 8, right? So this is the first possibility. Q dash R dash 6 2 dash dash. This is one possibility. The other possibility is uh, 1. Okay, let me R. Yeah, so one possibility is to keep 8 here. So if I keep 8 here, correct, right? Yeah, if I keep 8 here, uh, what happens? How many people are there to the left of 8? 1, 2, sorry, right of 8? 1, 2, 3, 4. So where should P be? P has to be here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, that is one case. The other case is to place 8 here. So to the right of 8, there is 1. So here it has to be uh, P. Now, you can ask me, why am I not placing 8 here. See, 8 cannot be here because I know already Q is elder than P is elder than R. So, obviously, R cannot be in 8 standard. That's why I am not placing 8 here. So, there are only two possibilities here. Either 8 can be here or here. Now, we have to see which of this is correct. Then, see, it is given next to that B studies in third standard. The one who studies in first standard sits fourth to the left of B. So again, B can either be here or here. See, because I know B studies in third standard. So B has to be in this position or in this position, in this case. Uh, so can B be here? If I place B here, what happens? The one who studies in first standard sits fourth to the left of B. One, two, three, four to the left of B position itself is not there. So obviously, if this is the correct case, B has to be here. So B is in third standard. One, two, three, four. So this is first standard. Now, similarly, considering this case, where will be the position of B? Can B be here? No. Can B be here? 1, 2, 3, 4. Yes, B can be here or here. Can it be here? 1, 2, 3, 4. No. B has to be here. If this is the case, B has to be here, third standard. So, this will be 1. Then, next it is given, H is to the immediate right of L. Where will I place H and L in this case? Not possible. I don't have two adjacent places vacant. So, this is wrong. Here I can do that, right? H is to the immediate right of L. Z and J are not immediate neighbors of Q. Sum of standards of H and L is equal to standard J. Okay. So, here it is given H is to the immediate right of L. That is, if this is L, this has to be H. And when you add these two, you should get the standard J, right? That is, L plus H should give you J. Now, where has to, where has, where should these L and H come? They have to come in these spaces that is given here. So, when I add any two numbers, I should get the one of the third numbers here, right? Or I should get, uh, see, if I add 6 plus 2, what do I get? I get 8, correct? Which can be the uh, value of J. If I add 6 plus 1, let's say, I will get 7. But where will that 7 come? That 7 has to be the value of Q, P or R. It cannot be the value of J because J will definitely be one of these four, right? Or uh, let us say I, I can't add 8 plus 2. If I add 2 plus 1, I will get 3 which is the value of B. So the only possibility is I am adding 6 plus 2 and I get the answer as 8. So that means this is your L, this is your H and when you add 6 plus 2, you get J that is 8. So who are we left with here? This should be Z. And they are saying Z and J are not immediate neighbors of Q, Z and J are not immediate neighbors of Q, that is correct. Now, here they have given Q greater than P greater than R. So, which are the values that we are left with, the standards that we are left with here is, we are left with 7, 5 and 4. So, how will you place 7 highest of P, Q, P, R, next should be P and next should be R. So, this is the arrangement that you are looking for. Now, what is the first question? R studies in which of the following standard? R studies in fourth standard.